What to do, what to do when you're having a decorating block. I have been standing here for five minutes saying, what should I decorate today? What should I share with them? And I'm blo I just have a mental block. It's like nothing is coming to me. And it's probably because we're going out of town and I'm like having a conversation in my head like, okay, let's go decorate that area over there. And the other side of me is like, girl, we are going out of town. Do you really want to get into a full blown decorate with me scenario? And I'm like, no, you're right. You're right. You win. So in today's video, I think what I'll do is sort of walk you around the house, share with you some new things I've added, share with you some old things I've had that I've moved into different parts of the house that's brought about new change. And uh, you can see where I'm sort of steering the house as far as my fall aesthetic goes and everyday aesthetic for that matter. All right, let's go take a walk. I'm gonna spin you right here. See anything different? Anything at all? We are going to have a storm here soon because it is really dark and dreary. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be too dark of a video. But anyway, what you see behind me is our hall closet. And you know, with all this wood, I, I actually personally love the wood, but sometimes you, you just have to break it up. And I thought, what could I do on these doors to sort of break up all the wood? I thought, well, I could hang two wreaths. That would be pretty. And then I went, nah. And then I thought, mirrors would add a reflective property and something with a big bold frame would break up the wood. So I went down to my storage room and I brought up my old like Tuscan style mirrors, which I love. I will never get rid of these mirrors. And they're beveled, they're beveled around the edges and then they've got this beautiful framing around it and boom, I've transformed this space. And then I added a metal wall embellishment and you know what? I'm really happy with how it turned out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over there and show you what it looks like from a distance. So if you have doors and you're kind of like, should I put a wreath? Should I leave it alone? Should I add something? Do the unexpected, add a mirror or two. So it's actually kind of cozy because I've got the warmth of the mirrors, you know, the, the darker frame. And then over here is the front door and I've got a beautiful fall wreath. I had, I think those were from Kirkland's years ago and so was that. So I just kind of like it. I, I really like the look. Kind of jazzes up the space. See, I think it's pretty. It would be boring without the mirrors, but the mirrors just jazz it up. So don't be afraid to add the unexpected. Okay, now I'm going to take you across the way and show you something else I did. Okay, see this long floor length mirror right here? This is a mirror that so many of you loved that was at my other house. And I have two of them and I'll be honest, we, we have so many windows in this house. It's been a challenge to find areas to put mirrors, like floor length mirrors, furniture for that matter. But I, I just knew I had to find a place for it because I love the reflective property. I love the design. I just, and it breaks up the wood. So it's kind of a win, win, win. And I've got the other one in my master bedroom. Uh, but anyway, I put it here. I love it. And I put a lantern beside it. And so right here, all I did was just lean it. And then guess what I did? Do you see what I did? I added a lantern that I got on Amazon. I leave it on 24 seven and I have to tell you, it is one of my favorite light fixtures in this house. At night, it looks so cozy, you guys. So if you have a mirror or even artwork, 
you can, this was so dirt cheap and it came with a set of two. There's no electrical wiring required. You, it comes with a plug. You just plug it into an outlet and you know, so what? You can see a little bit of the cord right there. Oh, well, ambiance, ambiance is everything. So for me, it gives me the wow factor. So just to give you guys a, a few ideas, if you have a floor length mirror and you wanna do something similar, like I said, just grab a lamp. You can get a barn light. You can get a cute little lantern like that. They are so inexpensive, but they, they elevate the look, I believe. And if you wanna take it a step further through the seasons, add a beautiful garland. I've done that, I did that at my other house where I added a beautiful garland and like a green one, and I would call it sort of my everyday kind of look and feel garland and just intertwine another garland for whatever season you're in. So right now we're in fall, just add a beautiful, you know, wispy green garland and then intertwine some fall leaves or some fall branches or whatnot. And you've got a, a gorgeous one of a kind look. I still may do that. I don't know, but I'm thinking about it. And here's the lantern, super pretty. Like I said, you do see a little bit of the cord, but you know, big deal. And then when I step back, you know, you've got a beautiful mirror with a reflective property. It kind of opens the space up, it breaks up all the wood. And then I just put a cute cozy lantern next to it. Um, and then at night, you can, I'm trying to tar turn this down so you could see. Um, it. I love to see the flickering in there and it just gives it, it takes it to a whole new level. So on the tabletop behind me, I already did a decorate with me on this vignette you see here, but one thing I added was something to Mr. Rooster. I dressed him up. Guess what I did? So here's a better look. You know, lantern, tray, wreath, rooster, two little fall vases on, you know, candle holders, and then this floral arrangement. But look at Mr. Rooster. He's wearing a tie. He's all dressed up for the season. So see this? This actually went around one of my beautiful lamps from Kirkland's. And I just, I took it off the lamp shade and I thought, this is gonna be perfect for Mr. Rooster. He's very dapper, you know. So I just love this. So now that we're in the family room, you can see that I have swapped my pillows out for a completely different look. And, and I love it. It, it adds texture. It's, I don't know, with all my little accents of black right now, it's, it is more contemporary for me, but I love the change. It's just, it's fun to change your style up. You know what I mean? I, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's perfectly fine to mix different styles because in my opinion, it gives it, it gives your home a more interesting look. If I went with all farmhouse, it might be overkill, which I have done. I have done. I have also gone overboard with French country. But I think when you take things you love and mix little pieces here with other things, it, it really gives it a lived in, collected kind of a look. I'm going with that. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Now, you may notice that I have a new rug that I purchased from Amazon. I did that like two months ago. I just haven't shared it, but I've got sort of a gray and cream and black going on in this room, but mixing it with my seasonal decor. But I love this rug. I love, love, love it. It's, it's really pretty and it goes well with the sofa and the two chairs and it ties in really nice with the pillows.
Now right here, not much has changed, but we're gonna be redoing that with a whole fall look and feel, probably coming up next week. Now when you walk in, I don't know if you guys can see, but I've added greenery and I've got some lights there. At night, it looks really cozy. I don't wanna do a close up. <laughs> My husband needs to clean the windows. Um, but anyway, I love it. Now over here on the mantle, I have not decorated it for fall, which is just shocking to me because you guys know that's one of the first places I decorate. But I love the simplicity of this mantle and I just don't know if I wanna change it this year. I know that's so crazy, but the only thing I did add was this beautiful wreath from Michaels. And I love the colors and I just love that sign. It just, it's family is forever, isn't that the truth? And I love the lights and the cozy factor and I love the different dimensions. I just, I love it all. So why change it, right? Now let me show you something else I did. This is kind of cool. I know I already shared this with you guys. Here's my little remote with my Amazon flameless flickering candles. And this makes it really cozy at night when you're watching a movie, you're having a movie night. And I don't know, I had these two cute shelves that I got, the farmhouse shelves. I stacked them, I put all the candles on there, and then I added some black, um, I don't know, rocks, I don't know. Just going with my little black theme, you could use multicolored rocks or no rocks at all or whatever, but I thought it was kind of cute. Also too, when we have a movie night, I kind of put the little lights on in this garland and it really adds the cozy factor as well. By the way, you guys, I forgot to share this dog bed that I found on Amazon. Isn't it cute? Look at the wood and the little feet on it. And when ben Mr. Bentley, our little beagle goes up on it, he looks so regal sitting up elevated. I love it. One more thing I'd like to add is you guys may remember I switched out all my cream curtains for these, um, for these curtains and I love them. You know, it just makes things pop. And I did it on all these windows here, continuing on into that room. I do wanna show you something else my husband did for me. Let's go over here. So right over in this room is our little sitting room area. And then you come over here, we've got the uh, powder room and pantry, laundry room. And right here is this little niche. And I don't know if you guys remember, but we used to have two wine refrigerators, one, one down here and one stacked up here. And then I had a chandelier hanging and I don't know, I just wanted to change. So I, I asked my husband if he could build me a little desk. And so he did. And he, I think he did a really good job. And I just wanted it uh, for, I wanted to have a printer here because I'm always, always looking for recipes and I hate using my phone. So now this allows me to print out my recipe and it's easy peasy. And what I added here was a cute little black shelf and then I set this cute little mirror on top of it. And then I have this adorable little lamp and I just sat that in the corner. There's my printer. And then I just have some uh, pampas grass right there. And then I have this chair. It's a cute little cozy nook area. Sometimes I'll bring my laptop here and sit it here and do some editing, but more times than not, I don't. It's just for my printer. 
Nothing's really new over here other than I added this pretty pot with some dried florals in it on my baker's rack. And here is the little pie that was given to me by my dear friend Lucy and it sits here all year round. I just love it. And then down here I put my, you know, squash or onions or vegetables that need to sit out. I'll just put them in there. And yeah, that's it. Now backing up over here is my little sitting area and we're going to be decorating the top of that for fall. We're going to be redoing the bookshelves. So I think that'll be a lot of fun. And oh, oh, I can't show that to you yet. More on this area later. And then I already shared with you this little area. And I shared my fall table here. And what else did we do? We already worked on this together. My light burned out, so I've got to replace that bulb. But um, yeah, those are some of the new changes. I can't show anything else to you just yet because more on that next week. Also too, if you have some candle holders and you want to jazz them up, just add some draping greenery and it gives it an interesting look. All right, my sweet friends, that will wrap up my video for today. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with little old me. And I will see you guys next week. And we will be, yeah, we'll be back into the throes of Decorate With Me's. So stay tuned. Mwah! Have a great weekend.